How you doing guys and welcome to today's vlog. I'm currently in the stunning Loch Erne, just to my right there. Um, the reason, that's not what today's vlog is. Today's vlog is somewhere a lot further south, about 100 miles south uh, on the South Ayrshire coast. The reason I'm starting it like this is because at the time of shooting the vlog, I totally forgot to do an intro. So this is the intro here. So at the moment, um, at Loch Erne, but today's vlog is 100 miles south in the South Ayrshire coast. Here it is. How are you doing guys? And welcome back to this sunny, kind of sunny, but chilly South Ayrshire coastline. Today I'm about two miles south of here on the west coast of Scotland and I'm going to take you around this absolutely amazing ruin of a 16th century tower house that's perched right on the edge of the cliff. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, I didn't know about this place until a few days ago and I thought I'm going to check it out and come down and see this place. It's absolutely stunning. It's just the views today are a lot better than they would have been yesterday. Um, it was a, such a grey grey day yesterday, but it's just absolutely stunning. Now the sun's came out, it's just even better looking. And there's also, I'll tell you about it when we got up there, a story of murder um, back in the 1600s. This place is absolutely stunning. Let's go and check it out. This is Greening Castle. I came up to this spot here just now. It's just past the castle, as you can see behind me. Um, I'm just, I've came up here just purely to see what's beyond the hill, because you can't see from down there. And um, you just get this amazing view of the coastline behind, behind the camera at the moment. But I'm also wondering if this would have been uh, Thomas Kennedy's route to the castle on his, his last night on earth. Who knows? There's definitely a, uh, a prominent route to the castle. Could be. So you might be wondering, who is Thomas Kennedy and what's he got to do with this castle, this Greening Castle? Well, Thomas Kennedy was probably a nobleman who actually lived in Killeen Castle, which is about seven or eight miles south of here, um, probably just down that track behind me. And on the 11th of May, 1602, Thomas Kennedy and his servant, Lancelot Kennedy, which is quite an awesome name, actually made their way to Greening Castle to spend the night. And it was in the morning of the, the 12th of May, 1602, that Thomas Kennedy was actually murdered by a gang of seven men. But I'll tell you more about that when we're up at the castle. So to get up to the, the castle, there are a couple of routes. Um, today, they're a bit slippy with the mud and what have you, but there are various routes up to the castle. Some of them are quite steep, some of them are quite not so steep. Um, but yeah, so if you just look around, you will find various routes off the, the beach up to the castle, which is just there. This is slippy today. What a view. You can just imagine having came a couple of miles from wherever and this is your view. This is the front door here. It's actually bricked up quite well. There's a brick missing, so you can have a peek in, but 
apart from that, you're not going to get into the castle. Uh, I wouldn't be going round the edge here because it's literally a sheer drop just down here the now. But my God, what a view. If you're going to build something on a coastline, build it on the coastline. Unreal. So continuing on the story of Thomas and Lancelot Kennedy um, and their ill fate on the 12th of May 1602. I'm currently stood in the courtyard of Green and Castle. Um, as you can see, the castle's behind me there. Um, this would have been the courtyard that they would have conducted their business and what have you. So on the morning of the 12th of May 1602, so over 400 years ago, Thomas Kennedy and his servant Lancelot actually left here on horseback, making their way towards Edinburgh for whatever business they were going to conduct. And the Edinburgh's about 90 miles away from here. And they only made it two miles before they were ambushed by a group of seven men. Now, the group actually ambushed um, Thomas and Lancelot because six months earlier, Thomas had been involved in a battle in which the brother of one of the, the men during the ambush um, had been killed. So this ambush was a bit of a payback, effectively, for Thomas' involvement in the, the battle. You know, they, they murdered Thomas in the woods and they stripped him of everything, took all his gold, all his belongings, anything of value, they just took it. Um, Lancelot was spared and he actually brought Thomas's body back here to, to Green and Castle, back to his half-brother John's house. Um, a couple of months later, or a period of time later, two of the men that were involved in the ambush were actually found and they were tried in Edinburgh for their suspected crime and they were found guilty of it and they ended up getting beheaded. So it's one of those stories that is just absolutely amazing me about Scottish history. Just all these real life stories of noblemen and murders and conspiracy and things like that are just absolutely amazing and I just love that you can come here and stand and this would have been the place that Thomas Kennedy left on that morning and a couple of hours later he was brought back here dead, had been murdered and stripped. Absolutely amazing that this is the place. I love it, love it. Just look at this weather now, absolutely glorious. This morning there was dull clouds, there was a wee bit of rain in the air, but now look at it, it's absolutely amazing. Just massive fluffy clouds everywhere and the sun is shining, it's brilliant. So there we have it guys, that's Green and Castle, the 16th century tower house. Um, I hope you enjoyed the wee story um, about back in the 1600s, the wee murder story and a bit of history behind the castle. Um, this is why I love to come to these places, just to explore them, do a bit of digging before you come here and actually experience and feel what it's like to be here. Um, this beach now as well, the tide is out, the beach is huge, you can spend a whole day here walking on down it. Um, if you're into photography, you're going to get some amazing views from here, it's just absolutely stunning. Again, across to Arran, um, amazing views, but yeah, Greenland Castle, absolutely beautiful and I hope you've enjoyed that video. I hope it gave you a wee bit of interest and maybe get you out to come and visit a place like this. Um, if you want to see more videos like that, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be going out and about more and finding more places in Scotland, doing a bit of digging, a bit of history, find out interesting facts, and yeah, uploading more videos to YouTube. So until next time, uh, take care, and I'll put all the description of more detail about the story of the, the murder and Thomas Kennedy in the link below. But until next time, take care.